Hello, this is the TA Sarah. I don't have a webcam yet, but I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Ant Landscape plugin to make a really quick landscape. First, you're going to open up Blender. In the top left, you're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then sc either scroll until you find Add Mesh Ant Landscape or just type in up here Landscape. You need to check it so that the box is lit up and then press refresh and then you can close that. If you press shift A you should be able to hover over mesh go down and then press landscape and it will add a pre-made landscape. Now if you go in the bottom left again you can open up the operator presets and do a different kind of predetermined generation for the landscape like uh, river now if you press tab and go in the top left click on face select and actually real quick change your viewport shading up here to material preview you could actually just select some of these oops maybe with the lasso tool shift select or shift select like around the river water and go to color make a new color base color like a green and then add another color press new press assign while these are still selected and then you can change the color of different things make this like sand colored for near the shore Press tab again, got a quick preview. And then if you add a landscape, you can actually open this drop down, change the presets, and also you can change this random seed so that the random operator preset generated, or it will be random. So I go to different one like techno cell I can just change what it looks like based off of this seed okay for another kind of landscape if you uh, let's add one in real quick and then go into edit mode and face select let's say you want to have a specific like area that's flattened out so you can put like a house select that area, press S for scale, and then Z for the Z axis, so up and down, and then zero, like type in zero. So then you can have a flat area where you can place random things. There's also, if you want to select like this spot, and then go on to proportional editing mode right here, press GZ and then move it up and down. It'll <laughs> move it in proportion, but since this is kind of small, it's moving like everything. So let me just select this and make it like a bit bigger. Select this part, G, and then move it around. Um, in proportional editing mode, it'll make it so that it um, scales it in a more softened way so it's not just if I turn it off and I select this it would just be flat straight on the sides 